Hi everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep track of online user with Superbase. All right, so let's do that. So right here, I have my static online user. So right now, we display zero. So I'm using this one with Next.js. So you can see, this is a client component. So I have the online state right here and the user state. And also, I have my Superbase set up right here. So to keep track of online user, so we can go follow Superbase documentation. So right here, so in real time and subscribe to channel. So you will see that this one listen to present sing, listen to present join, present leave. This is where we can keep track of the online user. So for the present sings, it's gonna listen to both join and leave. So for present join, so when user join and for leave when user leave, that's a cell explanatory. So right now I'm gonna choose the present sing that will listen both of this one. I'm gonna copy this and go back in here. So this one I'm gonna run the use effect. And right here, I'm going to paste all the code that we get from the documentation. So right here, we have the channel room. So this, if you run this room simultaneously, so maybe give it a unique name. So, but this one, we run only one inside this component. So I'm going to just change this one probably to tracking. And so right here, I'm just going to run this one. And then we're going to do the channel dot unsubscribe. So this is like when the component is unmount, we want to unsubscribe this one. So yeah, so that's pretty much it on how to keep uh, track of the UCD presencing. So if we go back right now, if you look at this one, so we keep track of this one only the online ad. So if we look at here, if I were to refresh this one, so you will see that we have this one and this one we have the online ad right here. So if you want to keep track of the online user, so we can pass the user information to this one. So then we can use it to get more information. So for this one, the user ID, and we can do user dot ID right here. And so I'm going to pass the user dependency for this one as well. So right now, if I refresh this one, so I should be able to see this so you can see right now the latest log so we have the online ad also the user ID as well so right now we can get this user ID store inside the array and keep track of the length of it so for that let's come back here so since this is going to be an object so we can loop through inside this objects and so for that let's do for fans ID inside the channel dot present state and I'm going to create the user ID list user ID and then I'm going to do user ID dot push it's going to be the channel start present state so since this is an object so we can get that ID here and right here it's going to be an array so we can choose index zero and then right here we can add the user ID which is from this one right here. So right here, this will be TypeScript complaint. So for this one, I am going just to do TS ignore right here. So right now, we can just console dot lock the user ID right here. Okay. So we come back here if I refresh this one again. So as you can see right now, we have this user ID inside the array. So we can set the length of this one to our notification uh, online user right here. I'm going to do set online user to the user ID dot length. Okay, so right now, if I refresh this one, so we should be able to see one right here. All right, nice. So, but for this one, there's one problem. So right now, for example, if the user, the same user, open the same tabs right here, so we have two, but as you can see right here, the user ID is exactly the same, right? So this is mean like the same user open different tabs. So right now we can, since this one, we can still keep track of that. So for this one, we need to remove and keep the unique ID only inside the user list right here. So to do that, it's gonna be really simple. So I'm gonna use the spread right here it's going to be new set so we can use the set class and then so we can pass the user id inside here and then for this one we can just do the dot length okay so right now if i close this one so if we refresh this one so we should be able to see only one and if we refresh this one only one so even the same user open the same tabs so right now let's for example, if another user open, so for this user, so right now, as you can see, we have two online user. All right. So that's pretty much it on how to keep track of online user with Superbase. 
So, all right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you can check out my, this video right here. That's where I use the Superbase present inside my real-time chat application. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.